Hey guys, Jamie here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a texture pack from scratch, drawing the block yourself, and all that fun stuff. So first off, you're gonna need programs. You're gonna need a zipping um, programs, so something like Seven Zip or WinRAR. I use WinRAR. Um, you can see it there. Um, I will put download links um, to them in the description. They're both free, uh, so that's good. Then you're going to need a image editing program, something like Photoshop. Uh, you can also use Paint.net and uh, GIMP. Um, GIMP and Paint.net are both free programs. Photoshop's obviously not a free program unless you pirate it, which is fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get started. So first off, for what you're going to want to do is going to go to start, type in percent app data. Oh, I put in that percent app data percent. Just press enter, and it will pop up this thing here. So you're going to want to go to dot minecraft and bin and then you're going to want a clean jar well you don't have to have a clean jar file of minecraft but it does help um, so I, I use mods like um, optifine uh, just for recording so I've made a clean jar just by clicking force update and got a clean jar and there it is there so what you're going to want to do is go to your desktop create a new folder and make your texture pack so texture pack no space there we go okay now you're going to want to right click minecraft.jar the clean version and open winrar now it's going to come up and tell me I want to buy it I don't want to buy it so I click close and now you're going to want to copy achievement armor art environment font GUI item misc mob textures and title you just want to copy those straight into your texture pack just like this mm, there we go so you're leaving behind net pulse code meta inf lang and com those are all to do with the game and not to do with the texture pack next I'm going to sort them by type and go to the very bottom after all of the class files and that didn't work did they come to the top okay um, so I've sorted the type in a different way to usual um, but if you just you use the type sort it will basically filter out all your class and you want to get pack.png, particles.png, font.text and pack.text you want to just copy those over into your texture pack and then you can close this and you're good to go so what I've got here is my default texture pack um, actually I meant to show you something else if you go back to your .minecraft folder and go into your texture packs folder so I'm going to go into my texture packs I have my texture pack right right there. So if you want to edit a texture pack um, and update it to something you want, a personal version, what you can do is you can do open with WinRAR. There we go. And you can just copy these these straight into uh, your texture pack folder. As you can see, I've got the same folders here as I've got I put in there, except for these that have the files edited by me for my texture pack. Um, so yeah. The only thing I would say about that is if you're editing someone's texture pack um, to make your own version, it doesn't sit well with people on, on forums like Planet Minecraft. Uh, you have to have something like 60% different or something along those lines. Anyway, let's get into it. So now we've got our texture pack folder, it's time to start editing our stuff. Now, the folder is pretty self explanatory. Achievement, armor, art environment fun um, there's a ton of stuff in here and mostly it's self-explanatory telling you what's what so if I go into GUI for example um, the unknown pack if something doesn't have a pack photo this will come up in its place um, icons hopper so that's your graphic user interface am I right yeah I think that's right um, so it's quite it, it sort of goes with it you, you you can sort of figure everything out um, it's not too difficult um, the only thing I'd say is pack.png is the when you go into minecraft uh, when you have your texture packs on the far left you have a little icon pack.png is that icon um, and particles are the particles you see pack.text is the stuff underneath saying like something about the text pack um, and font.text is stuff to do with the font but if I do 
like a demonstration editing I'm going to go into textures um, this is where the main bulk of it is go into blocks and here we have stuff so I think I will change diamond blocks yeah I'll go with diamond blocks um, actually no I'll go with redstone blocks because I like redstone so I'm just going to open it in my photoshop um, and you'd open it in GIMP or paint.net um, or whichever program you're using as long as the, the th only thing about the program is you have to make sure your program supports um, it, the program supports you using um, transparency because if you can't have transparency the texture pack it, it will work as in you'll be able to use it but what will happen is you'll effectively all the see-through stuff turns white so if you can imagine your diamond pickaxe it's mainly see-through so if I went and find found a diamond pickaxe um, diamond diamond pickaxe anywhere pickaxe maybe uh, there we go diamond pickaxe you can if I just open that you can see most of it is air or nothing but the what would happen effectively is it would look something more like if I just select this and then I want to get that and that this is what it would look like if you um, used something that didn't support transparency and that would be your whole item that would that's what you would hold in your hand so you wouldn't hold a pickaxe you'd hold a white square with a pickaxe drawn on it um, so not quite what you want no I don't want to save changes so anyway back to editing it um, fairly simple just make it look however you want it I'm going to make this look nice and simple um, I'm failing at selecting this I'll get my eyedropper out I'll take that uh, I'll just delete all that. There we go. That's faster. Um, then I'm going to select inverse. Um, I drop. Wait. Actually, I. Here we go. I'll use a different color. That's a white, dark red. Um, if I just get my bucket. And. It's still. It's not dark enough. Um, I'll just leave it as that. Okay, and I'll select inverse again. Use my eyedropper tool and just delete that and replace it with that color. And then that's my new redstone block. So I'm just going to save it. Um, and it will save it. If you use save, it will just save it and overwrite it. So if I now close it, the redstone block, which is in blocks, it looks much different. So if I now load up Minecraft. Well, I need to. Next thing I need to do is zip up the texture pack, um, actually make it and import it into my texture packs folder. So I'm just going to, just for the lols, I will change that oh, to um, something so we can demonstrate. I will get rid of all of it, and then I will import. Ch -ch -ch um I'll just draw something on it why not um actually no I'll put it pink where's pink there you go there you go that's that's um going to be interesting save okay so now I'm just gonna select all my files um because I've now finished my texture pack it's exactly how I want it to be um or I want to test it and see how it looks in the game so I'm going to add it to an archive. I want to make sure it's in the zip format, and this is its name. So it's going to be called texturepack.zip. I'm going to click OK. Now just open Minecraft. There we go. Where are you? There we go. Now we're going to go into options, and in options we're going to choose the texture packs folder. Open the texture packs folder, and all you need to do is just drag this in. Um, if you've never used a texture pack before. So those are my text. That's my texture pack. That's default. Uh, if I open text pack folder, this comes up. I want to drag the zip file in there and close this. And there you can see that's my pink background. So if I just maximise that, so there you go. It's selected my texture pack. Now I'm using the texture pack I've just made. New world. 
and okay and now we may we changed redstone block didn't we and there you go you can see it is definitely not default texture pack um and that's what we just did there so if i click 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 don't know why it's taking so long to do it so that was what we started with um and that's that that's how to make a texture pack all you need to do is just do it for everything um and then it will look something like uh, this uh so this is my texture pack um you can see you can edit items you can you can literally edit everything you see here absolutely everything um to whatever you want and you can also change guis um like the how you interact you can change all, this picture here um you can change what the sun looks like you literally change everything how the clouds work um so good luck with that it is quite tedious um <laughs> it's not a fun job to do but you you get the feeling of a reward at the end um but apart from the pep talk thank you for watching good luck with your texture packs i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you later